Hello, I'm just going to give you some thoughts on my ownership of the Silence S01 Connected. It weighs 152 kilos, of which 41 kilos of that is the battery, but all the weight is very low down. The electric motor is in the rear hub. I think this must be one of the fastest bikes with the motor in the rear hub. There's three drive settings. When you start up, it starts up in city mode and then it's sequential up and down. So it goes from city to sport, press again back to city, press again to eco. You can charge it without having to take the battery out. There is no heavy charger that you have to carry around with you. It comes complete with a standard kettle cable which you just connect under the seat and then you can connect it to any 3-pin standard uh, household socket in the UK. Alternatively, you can take the battery out and wheel it inside the home. Under the seat, release the latch. There's a locking bolt under the rear arch. Then you just pull out the battery and you'll see here that the wheels deploy down. Now you can pull the handle up and wheel it inside the house. Putting it back is the same process in reverse. Now the fun bit. It's twist and go, very easy to ride, all the weight is down low and you can just push it through the corners with no fear of dropping it. It's very visible on the road, those LED lights do show up really well. Gen braking works really well. And is available in all modes in some form or other. I tend to leave it in eco mode because all the routes that I tend to use uh, have a maximum of 40 mile an hour limit anyway and it copes with that and gives you a good, uh, a good relative acceleration as well.
all in all it's been really good so far. No problems with it, the build quality is very good, doesn't rattle, everything is well put together. And it job, does the job I need it for perfectly. Um, I use it to very small journey to work in the mornings and also down the leisure centre at lunchtime so it's good to just go in, nip in and out of traffic, get down the leisure centre and park free of charge in the biking bays. As you can tell, it's really quiet. You could always call it silent. The app is pretty good. It gives you the location that your bike is left in, uh, how far away from it you are, and it's easy to use like Google Maps for navigation. So from the app, to type your location, it'll give you um, how much battery you're going to use for the journey. So that's always handy to know. Um, things on here also that you see, it gives you, you can sound the alarm from here to find it, and the smaller alarm as well. One thing that I've not been able to find out is how to convert it all to miles on the app. If anybody knows, please let me know. Some options here to have the trunk activated. Um, also trip history, which could be quite handy. Just more for geeky stuff really. But it, it'll, it records all your trips that you've done. All in all pretty good. That's it, thanks for watching. Goodbye.